you don't want to just raise test scores. You want to close the achievement gap. And one way that you can do that is through focused, mindful professional development. We're going to talk about how you can make that happen right now. Hi, everybody. I'm Lee Hall from Literacy Teachers, and I'm all about helping you inspire, motivate, and change how your students read and write for academic success. So today we're talking about professional development and how you can use it to close the achievement gap, particularly as it relates to reading and writing. So while it is typically, you know, really important for students reading test scores to be high and we're always looking to help them make improvements, ultimately we want to do more than just give students a good test score. We want to close that achievement gap, right? So one way to get at that, there's a number of ways to get at that, but one way to get at that is through high quality professional development. Now, you're probably already thinking, yeah, I know I can take professional development and improve my instruction, but we're going to talk about something a little bit more focused and nuanced than that today. So first of all, if you want to help all of your students improve as readers and as writers, then they need research-based instruction in their classroom. Programs, right, reading programs, they can help a little bit, but they're not going to cut it. Pull out programs for your um, neediest students, they can help, but once they come back in the classroom, they're not gonna sustain those gains. What's really gonna be important is the instruction that you provide them, and it needs to be research-based, okay? Now, here's the thing. Um, not everyone is prepared to do this, particularly if you're a middle or a high school teacher. You probably had really limited instruction about how to teach kids reading, how to teach kids writing within your academic discipline. It's not your fault, okay? But you can enhance this through PD. You can get at it, make your instruction better, learn these research-based practices through professional development. Now, professional development, does not need to be the same for everyone. Oftentimes, unfortunately, it's, uh, particularly if it's thought of in terms of school-wide or grade level, it, it ends up being the same, right? So um, some of you have probably experienced where, you know, the school has is going to raise their reading test scores and they bring somebody in to give you professional development, okay? And it's everybody getting the same PD at the same time. Now, that might have been very helpful for you, depending on where you were with your learning about things. And it might have been stuff that you already knew, or it might have been a little bit more advanced. And so you weren't ready for it. So you weren't able to utilize it, right? This one size fits all PD approach isn't necessary and it's not going to help you be able to develop the kinds of instructional practices that you need to close the achievement gap. So what you want to do as an educator is you want to identify the goals, right, that you have for yourself as a teacher. So you need to think about what are the goals that your school has, what are the goals that you have for your students, okay? And then where do you fall short in terms of having the knowledge and ability to meet those goals, right? So you've got goals for how you want your students to improve as readers and writers, that's going to come from the instruction that you provide them with, but you might need help thinking about how to ramp up your instruction. So once you set some goals for yourself, again, one or two, okay, year-long goals for yourself, then you can start being mindful about the professional development that you select to help you achieve those goals, okay? That's going to be the most effective route to get you there. Now, if you need help with your professional development, you want to go down to the comments section. You're going to find a link there that's going to take you to a short demographic survey. Complete that survey and you're going to get an all access pass, as if it's still available, you're going to get an all access pass to the beta mode of the online professional development program that I've created. It's free right now because it's in beta mode and we're really interested in tracking how people are learning and how it can be better. But what it's going to do is it's going to give you access to 20 or more courses, okay, depending on uh, when you join us. Right now we have 20 and 5 in development. Um, it's going to allow you to pick the course that you want that's going to target the instruction that you need, right, that you need to provide so that your students can improve as readers and writers and so they can close and so that you can close the achievement gap. So head on down in the comments. You'll see the link there. Sign up and get that information. Um, you'll help us with our beta program. We'll help you grow and we will all collectively help inspire, motivate and change how your students read and write for academic success.